Hi guys, so today I am nine weeks and five days pregnant. I had the, I don't say the ultrasound, but our first prenatal appointment last week, exactly a week ago. I'm um, sorry I didn't update earlier this week about it. I've just been all sorts of blah. So first I'll start out with um, symptoms. Fatigue has definitely been my most biggest complaint, I want to say and that is just constant. I am always tired and I probably should take a nap when my baby naps but I, I don't and I should. Another thing that's changed in morning sickness. I've never had morning sickness. I never had one pregnant with my daughter. I just I, I don't I never knew what it felt like and it's not pleasant. So for those moms out there who have it uh, I don't know how you do it. Um, it's difficult in the morning I wake up and I, I make my daughter breakfast I try to make me breakfast and just smelling the eggs or smelling whatever I'm cooking it's, it's too much even just the way I feel is just too much um, I my head is gonna explode I feel like my whole body is just wretched with pregnancy um, but I guess that comes to the territory people say that when the more sick you are means you're having a girl and I, I don't mean to disprove that theory but when I was pregnant with my daughter I didn't have any symptoms other than heartburn in like the last trimester so I don't really believe in that um, I just feel like every pregnancy is different and definitely this one is running its course on my body and mind um, what else I guess with the nausea and the morning sickness and just the overall icky feeling I have lost my appetite which goes hand in hand with it I guess so I don't feel like eating because nothing sounds appealing like nothing sounds good and I can eat I'm always hungry I can eat no matter what even if I'm full that's just like the 600 pound woman in me um, but I don't want to eat like I will force myself to eat breakfast so therefore I have something in my belly so I'm not just, like throwing up bile and dry heaving and just miserable so I have at least something in my system and then for lunch maybe I'll have a piece of toast spread some peanut butter on it something just to kind of once again put something in my system so I don't you know my blood sugars won't drop low and I'm having some kind of sustainable energy to get through the day um, and it's not until about dinner time that I actually feel okay and I can actually eat like a semi normal size meal so definitely I I don't know if I lost any weight. When I went to my appointment last week, I have so far gained four pounds um, in this pregnancy. And I don't think that's obviously not pregnancy related. That's just me pigging out. And that hasn't been the case in about a week or so. If you notice, all my eyes look almost black. Um, you can't see the green in my eyes right now. I just went to my eye appointment this morning so for diabetics you have to get your retinal exam every year and that's when they dilate your eyes and do all these different uh, tests on them and everything for me um, they found that my retina was thinning so they had me coming in every six months to check it and they found it's just diabetic related issues that they found in like the back of my eyes like um, hemorrhaging and certain things that they found that were going on they weren't right like it high blood sugars go hand in hand with poor eyesight and problems so that's what was going on um, and so far he, he checked me today and said that all the problems that we had are resolved so that's great news um, my eyesight is the same nothing's changed my retina and this has nothing to do with the diabetes um, my retina thinning it's just my luck I guess um, that has nothing to do with you know uncontrolled diabetes or anything like that but that hasn't changed that stayed stable so that's doing really well we don't need glasses yet all the issues we have from diabetes are completely resolved and gone so that was really reassuring to feel in here I, I want to say I have enjoyed this pregnancy we will be you know 10 weeks in just two more days oh I'm just I feel like I think I finally feel pregnant not during the nights as much but like during the days definitely pretty soon we can actually start to 
telling people, I guess. I don't know. My husband wants to tell family when we're about 14 weeks in. And like I said in my previous video, um, or my previous uh, pregnancy vlog, that I wanted to wait until we're about 18 to 20. So we'll see from there. I don't know. This week, this weekend we have the balloon festival. We have a lot of things to do this weekend, especially with Lillian and family time. And then we're leaving next week to go and drive out to my sister-in-law's house, the hotel near her house, and prepare for the wedding and get ready for that shindig. And that'll be exciting. I'm happy for her. It'll be a lot of fun, a lot of great memories built. That is all I have to really update on. Let me see. I don't know if I've said this before in these pregnancy vlogs. I probably have. I'm not going to do any belly shots until I'm probably 12 weeks, I want to say. Maybe 11, 12 weeks. For now, obviously, there's nothing to show. I, uh, the baby's like size of a grape. So there's, you know, there's nothing. You're not going to show you have bloat. And obviously, I don't have bloat. I have a pooch and excess skin from having almost 10 pound baby and not really exercising that off as much as I should have. Um, so there's really not much to show. You've seen one stretchy gut before you've seen them all, so to speak. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll see you for our 10 week update. Have a great weekend everyone. Bye.